Tom from Gabriel Fitness with another nutrition tip. Today, the tip is very, very simple. What I want you to do is go into your bathroom or your closet, wherever you keep your scale. I want you to take your scale, I want you to pick it up and throw it right in the garbage because that's where it belongs. Today, we're going to talk about why you don't need your scale and why how much you weigh is not important. Unless you're a wrestler or an Olympic weightlifter or a jockey, your weight shouldn't be important to you. To the people like that, your weight is very important. It's part of your sport. You can't really do your job unless you make weight. So if you plan on fighting in the UFC this weekend, then your weight's important. But otherwise, it's not a good way to measure your health, your results, how well your training is going, how well your nutrition is going. There are some simple ways you can measure your success. You can measure your progress. Get a measuring tape. Use the measuring tape. Get a number on your waist. Get a number on your hips, your arms, your neck. Whatever part of your body that you want to change, measure and then track those numbers. Come on in the GFP. Get your body fat percentage done. Great number to use, a body fat percentage. Much better than your weight. Take before and after pictures. Take a picture every week if you want and track your progress that way. Track your progress with how you feel. How are your workouts going? How are you sleeping? How's your energy levels throughout the day? These are all much, much better ways to see how your training, your nutrition, your new lifestyle is working. We have seen people gain weight or lose no weight at all, but lose inches, lose dress sizes, increase their muscle mass, get stronger, look better, feel better, you name it, without really losing any weight at all. We've also seen people lose a ton of weight, but do it unhealthfully. So three quarters of the weight they lost was pure muscle mass. So they actually got fatter, just a lighter version. So once your scale is in the garbage, I want you to write down your goal. Is it to fit into a pair of jeans, to lose so much body fat, to lift a certain amount of weight, to run a 5K, whatever your goal is, it has nothing to do with that number on the scale. Find another way to measure it. If you need help, email me, tom at gabrielfitness.com. So if you have any questions, I hope to hear from you. If not, we'll see you next week. <music>